welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few different ways and tips and tricks and methods to really sort of declutter and refresh and reorganize all of your devices. As creators and even regular everyday people, we tend to accumulate a lot of clutter and stuff on our devices that a lot of the time we're not even that aware of, which can really just begin to suck up all of your storage and slow down your devices and just as a whole make your digital life a lot harder to manage. So I hope at least one or two of these ideas is helpful to you and I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first thing I had no idea how badly I needed to tackle until I finally did it were all of my text threads, my text messages, and all those conversations in my messages. It was not until I sat down and looked at the storage in my iPhone that I realized how much of my phone storage was being taken up by messages I hadn't looked at in over a year. And then when I looked at my text messages, all of my conversations, I realized that I had threads going back to last September that were literally just sitting there taking up storage on my phone for no reason. Whenever you are receiving text messages or engaging in group conversations, when you are sending and receiving videos and pictures and attachments, all of that data is actually staying on your phone taking up storage and I had no clue. So definitely a first major step of decluttering my phone was going into my messages app and deleting every single one of those threads and really only keeping all of the conversations and message threads that I have with the people in my immediate circles that I talk to on a daily basis. A second step to my decluttering process that was very, very much long overdue was going through all of my DMs on Instagram. Literally zero exaggeration, I probably get somewhere between 50 and 100 DM requests every single week on my Instagram, which can definitely make your DMs look really, really cluttered and disorganized and hard to look through, which also goes for the primary and secondary inboxes in your DMs, where if you were to scroll down through every single one of the DMs you have in your inbox, you would probably see hundreds and hundreds of them from months, even years ago. So first I did a delete all on the 500 plus DM requests I had on my Instagram. And then I wiped out every single one of the DM conversations I had in my DMs and started over from zero. Literally the first second after I did that, I felt so much more clean and refreshed and organized. I immediately posted about it on my Instagram story. And then within about an hour of me posting that story, I got so many DMs from you guys saying things like, oh my God, I totally need to do this. I'm so overdoing cleaning out my inbox. Other people saying like, oh my God, I just did this and I feel so much better now. I really do think that not that many of us truly realize how much Instagram and DMs play that big of a role in our lives. And just having all of that clutter in your inboxes, in your requests, all of that is just super unproductive and unconstructive. So that was definitely a very impactful step in my digital decluttering process that made a massive difference. Then still on my iPhone, the literal bane of my existence, the new app library feature on iOS. Absolutely, totally hate that feature and would absolutely get rid of it if I could. I just really, really hate that if you scroll all the way through all the pages on your phone, there's this whole page of an app library full of folders that you can't edit, you can't change, you can't delete or take away. And it just makes it so, so easy for all these apps that you don't use on a very regular basis to kind of just pile up and go unused, which again takes up a whole lot of data and storage on your phone. So what I've begun to do to make managing this a whole lot easier Easier is a couple of times a month I go over into the app library and rather than looking at it in the whole like folder view I go up to the search bar at the very top which instead displays every single app on your phone in a list view and then as I go through every single app in that list if there are any apps I have not touched in over like a month or a couple of months then I just delete it I am a hundred percent guilty of downloading apps that look super super cool when they're advertised to you then end up not being what you thought they were and just then and leaving it on my phone rather than deleting it. So just doing that once or twice a month, going through all the apps on my phone and doing a little purge of the most unused apps, that just gives me back a little bit of storage on my phone and makes my phone run a little bit more smoothly. So now as for something I use pretty much every single day as a creator on my laptop, my email. This is literally my favorite thing I have ever discovered off of a recommendation from one of my friends. There is absolutely nothing more annoying than going going into your email to check your inbox or send somebody an email and seeing your inbox full of promotions and spam emails and like emails from this company and this store. Basically just all the emails that you 
were unwillingly subscribed to when you have to give your email for this, that, and the other thing. But one reason that most of us tend to just put up with those and delete them or ignore them is that it takes forever and it's super, super tedious to have to go through every single one of them to unsubscribe and get rid of them. So that is where this beautiful recommendation from one of my friends has come in, which essentially is a Chrome extension that you download and connect to your email. And then once you have the tool installed, literally anytime that you get any one of these spammy emails or emails you want to unsubscribe from, all you have to do is just select every one of the emails you want to be unsubscribed from, then hit the unsubscribe button at the top of your email, and then you are immediately unsubscribed from every single one of them, and you will never again receive one of those super annoying emails, which makes my inbox a whole lot less scary to go into and use on a daily basis and makes things a whole lot more productive. Now, this is one thing I cannot stress the importance of enough to you guys, and that is the importance of having some kind of system for organizing files. In one single week, literally seven days, my desktop and downloads folder, they're going to be full of screenshots and pictures and downloads and files, which really just clutters your computer super, super quickly and makes it run super slowly, makes things hard to find and harder to look at, which is then when I first began to create dedicated folders on my computer. So for example, I have dedicated folders for things I need for editing YouTube videos. I have a specific folder for things for taxes. I created one folder for all things related to school and then little subfolders for every one of my classes. Just having all of these super organized folders on your computer, getting into the habit of saving and downloading things to specific folders, it just honestly makes finding things and organizing things and moving things a whole lot easier and smoother. If you have not already, every single person watching this video needs to invest in an external hard drive. Do not wait until it's too late and you have to learn the hard way like I did. I used to keep every single bit of my digital life in my Google Drive, whether that was pictures or files or downloads or documents, literally every single thing I ever owned digitally was in my Google Drive. Then one day my Google account got hacked and shut down and I lost everything, which is then when I decided that keeping absolutely everything on my desktop was so much easier. Then I had an incident where something got spilled on my Mac Book and it totally shut down. With Apple Care, I was able to replace my MacBook, but my files were gone forever. Which is then when the guy at the Apple Store convinced me to invest in a hard drive, and I have never looked back since. Hard drives are durable, they are practically indestructible. Usually they have a massive, massive storage capacity, so it takes a lot of stuff to fill up your storage. But over top of everything else, all the other benefits and advantages, it is a super, super safe way of storing all your files and important documents. The one time something actually did happen to my hard drive, I was able to bring it into Best Buy and they were able to extract every single file off the hard drive and put it onto another one. And of course, another super big advantage of having a hard drive is that you are taking all of the documents and files off of your computer over onto your hard drive, which is going to free up storage and make your computer run a whole lot faster. So now I'm definitely a massive, massive advocate for hard drives and I have never looked back since. And then my final tip to you guys is probably my favorite one out of any of these in this video and that is this wonderful incredible app that is called clean my mac you can find it in the app store of your macbook or your imac but this is definitely the best investment i have ever made essentially what it does is scans in the background of your computer to get rid of any and all clutter that you can't really see yourself that is slowing down your computer usually i run a scan once or twice a month and on average it usually gets rid of about two to five gigabytes of trash working in the background. And let me tell you guys, literally the second the scan is finished and all that stuff is gone from my computer, it automatically works so much faster. So that is definitely one of the best investments I've ever made into my digital life and my digital organization. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Those are all of my tips, tricks, and methods for decluttering your digital life. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.